How's it going? In this video, I'm going to be explaining uh, just how how measuring distance using a webcam and a laser pointer works. I've had a, just a commenter on the blog asking where I got some values from. So just thought I'd respond in video form. It's kind of easier. All right, so I'm going to be using some clips of old uh, videos and old images because when I did this project, it was about two years ago and I haven't got the the webcam and laser rig still so so given that just take a look at the image on the screen now so in that diagram you have your laser on the bottom left camera in the top left and then your your target over to the right d is the distance between your the laser and whatever it is you're measuring theta theta is the angle between basically if you can just imagine the, just a webcam looking straight forward the laser dot is going to move up and down the screen or, or across the screen left and right depending on how you have it set up and the angle that makes between your laser and your webcam they just they call that theta you can see h there that's again just the distance between webcam and laser and then the next thing is pfc so pfc is the number of pixels from the center of the focal plane so just take a look at this clip uh, i made probably two years ago of me just uh, I made a really simple Python script that would grab frames from the webcam, looks for the red dot and tells me how many pixels it is away from the very center pixel. That's all PFC is. It's how many pixels has my red dot moved away from the center. RPC is your radians per pixel pitch. And that's another part of our equation. Um, so RPC is it's like a parameter of whatever camera it is you're using. And we're going to calculate that based on uh, measurements, like calibration measurements. And R0 is the radian offset, which uh, compensates for alignment errors, which you can also work out using like some calibrating measurements. And I'll explain how to do those now in a minute. All right, so here are the values that I found through calibration. And I'll explain how I got these now in a minute. But just to put up the two equations so you can see how everything fits together. So we have theta and then the distance which you're trying to measure, which is the whole point of the project, is h over tan theta. So this value right here we get from our computer program. That's when it, uh, your Python script or whatever takes an image from the webcam, it finds the red dot and it says right how many pixels away is the red dot from the center might be like something like 100 pixels, 200 pixels, something like that. Or PC is just a constant we have it here, or zero is another constant we have it here. So then we can work out theta, right? Just from the computer program, looking at the laser dot. Then to get the distance that, that the object is actually at, you just plug in your H, which we have again as a constant, distance between your webcam and your laser, and you go tan of theta, which we just get from this equation. And so you can work out the distance of whatever the laser pointer is hitting based on these equations. Um, there is a couple of relationships that you've got to work out. Um, we're just looking at a screenshot of my Excel sheet. Um, or Okay, so let's just take a look at the values. I'm gonna show you a quick clip of me. Um, basically what you do is you just get a piece of paper that you can hold up in front of the webcam and laser. And you just step back at certain distances. So you get out a measuring tape step back and say one meter, 1.5 meters, two meters, 2.5, three. You want to get about say 10 measurements. So whatever increments you need to go up in. So then you get your actual D, that's what I call that. It's in centimeters. And at the same time, you have a computer program running that's looking for PFC, or as I like to call it, pixel distance, which is how far the laser is from the center of the image. And you just write those two numbers down. So you get out your measuring tape, say, right, I'm one meter away. Look at your computer, it'll say the dot is 13 pixels away. You know, step back another few centimeters, say right now 1.5 meters away, look back at the computer, it's now 20 pixels away from the center. And so you build up this list of actual distance versus pixel distance. All right, so now to explain, so why do we just do that? Why get the measuring tape and why get the, the PFC values for each, each distance? So it all comes back to this equation where theta equals PFC times or PC plus or zero. 
So from the equations I showed at the start of the video, theta uh, can be broken down thanks to the equation to just measurable values that we can do, do in real world experiments. So uh, theta is equal to inverse tan of h over d. I'm going to call that d actual because it's the one we, we actually measured. And then the point is theta becomes these two things that are just real world values like h is our set value of the distance between the webcam and the laser and d we measured with a measuring tape and then pfc is we get that from our computer program for each value of d because we were getting measure tape stepping back so we have this relationship these two values of theta and pfc so just to get to get the relationship you plug in the values into the equations i'll show you exactly how to do that now you plot a you plot a graph and what you get out is uh, a line Thankfully, uh, if you haven't noticed, this is the equation of a line. If you can imagine y equals mx, or I guess this would be your m, y equals mx plus c. So we have this equation of the line, right? And we can we can have these two values that we measured. What we're looking for is or pc and or zero. Because this is the equation of a line, we can plot theta and pfc. We'll get a line, get the equation of that line, and it will be very similar to this, uh, like y equals mx plus c. You can just compare the values of the trend line equation and that will give you or pc and or zero so i'm going to show you how to do that now so if you just go over to excel in the left column here we have pixel distance which is just the same set of values that we measured earlier on but for theta we're going to calculate it and using the equation uh, that i showed on the board here theta is inverse tan of h over d actual which is the d we measured with our measuring tape so what you do is you just type that into the uh, excel uh, equation for e for each cell a tan 5.33 which is our distance from webcam to laser all over and this cell is our d values just filling into that equation so you just click and drag click and drag and then you have all these values of pixel distance and theta theta is an incredibly small number uh yeah so theta is a crazy small number that's kind of what you should expect if you're getting huge numbers then it's pretty likely you've gone wrong somewhere and that did happen to me a couple times so you just highlight both cells click insert throw in a graph and we see we get this lovely straight line and it's always great when you graph two things you measured and get a roughly straight line that means you know you didn't mess up too badly graphed pfc here and then down here I graphed theta and the line looks like this and thanks to Excel we're getting this so we're getting y equals 0.0011x plus 0.0154 and if we compare equations so x in this case is pfc I don't know what they're kind of swapped around but so 0 0.001 is RPC and OR0 is 0 0.00154. Whew. All right, so now what, what does that all mean? All right, so now that we've found P, um, RPC and OR0, and I'll write up the equations, and it's pretty obvious that you can go from, let's say you have your computer program looking at your webcam, and it's getting the value of PFC, which is how far the laser is from the center, and so thanks to the equations and that you've calibrated everything, you can go straight from having PFC straight to a value of D, which is your distance to the object measured. And these are the equations that we can now use. So you've got D is H over tan theta, right? And so Y is theta, we can use equation, theta equals PFC, which you have for the times OPC plus or zero, and we have these worked out. So if you know theta, basically your computer program is gonna give you PFC. These are just constants so the computer program is giving you theta essentially and then you can just throw this in d your computer program will turn out these equations h we know is just 5.33 centimeters and then tan theta and then for every value of pfc essentially oh wrong way for every value of pfc which is where's the laser dot how far has it moved that will give you your value of d that's a general idea. Hopefully I haven't made a total balls of explaining it. Have a good day.